My name is Judith Dicker. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm a wife, mom of two, and I'm passionate about helping women find a healthy relationship with their bodies. I'm married to my high school sweetheart. So we've known each other since I was 15. We lived in London for a couple of years. We moved here from South Africa. And then uh, we came to Houston and we had two very active children that keep us really busy. Both of us share a love for dogs, so we're always active walking them. At the moment I do online posing classes. I've always been someone that I don't want to accept. Um, I don't like things that limit us. So I, wanna, I like to push against those boundaries and see if I can push it a little bit. And I do like to challenge myself. So to me it was like, if I don't think I could do it, I should definitely try and push myself and get there. So stepping on stage was that step for me of, yes, I know I had surgery, but there's no reason for me to step back just because I have a scar on my back. I actually got really sick when I was in my 20s and I ended up having most of my right lung removed. After the surgery, I lost all of my hair. I got really, really thin. And doctors told me that I'll need to adjust my life, my lifestyle. Um, that was my turning point. So I actually went ahead and I signed up for 5K. <laughs> so I wanted to go against what the doctors told me and see if I could prove them wrong. Signed up for the 5K, I completed it. After that, I went on, I did a sprint triathlon. I was able to complete it as well. Um, and then my next step was to get my uh, group fitness certification. So I actually went on, I started teaching fitness. And this is really where I found my passion for just going and educating people that you're supposed to stay active. Um, don't always accept what doctors tell you. Yes, they are usually right, but always try and get a second opinion, regardless of if I'm having a difficult day or not. I always try and remember the person I set out to be also helps to look back and see where I came from and just to kind of take pride in that moment. Usually that's what inspires me. That's usually what I pull from. I pull from my past, you know, those difficult times when I lost my lung, the memories I have of uh, just wanting to be healthy. I just wanted to be normal at some stage. And for me to come this far is honestly, to me, it's enough of an accomplishment. So I do think if you are not too hard on yourself and just remember that, it definitely helps me to push on, to push forward. I actually, I saw pictures of women who were competing and I, I just loved how, well, being how strong their bodies look and that they can get on stage and wear those beautiful sparkly bikinis. Um, so that was like the next step for me. That was my next level of, yeah, I wanted to compete and just step it up. I also wanted to see if I could do it with a big scar on my back because I was concerned that it will Basically, if I have a scar on my back that I couldn't do it. And I wanted to just feel like I kind of belong, that I fit in on stage. Um, so that was really why I did it. I wanted to see if I could fit in and just belong on stage with a scar on my back. <laughs> feels exhilarating, it feels powerful. I also think it's the competitors that support each other so much. Getting off stage, we would hug each other and just say, yeah, you did great, or it's really, it's. People think it's an individual sport, but it really is a group sport. Because you do need that support. Like It's really powerful when women come together and lift each other up like that. It's, it makes a big difference. To me personally, I had to let go of that whole idea of trying to be perfect, trying to do everything perfectly, um, and just try and do my best every day. Um, there are days that I really struggle, days that I have, you know, it's hard at school for the kids. They had a tough day. I had a tough day at work. Um, and those are the days that I just honestly get dressed for the gym. I get dressed and so I don't have to think about it. I just get dressed and I go to the gym. Take the thinking out of it. Um, and then there are days that I just don't, I can't do it all. And that's okay as well. Um, I would say, accept that not every day will be easy. And just try and do as much as you can to stick to your goals. My goal is to earn my pro card, but I do want to do it a little different. Um, this year I've really been trying to go about things differently. I'm trying to do it more from a healthy perspective. I am I'm following what they call a macro diet and I'm not doing as much cardio. So I want to prove that yes, it is possible to be in great shape 
while you are still living a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy and not damaging your body. Most girls, they go off and they go to the extremes when they compete. So they only do it for 12 weeks at a time, put their bodies through a horrible experience and then they go back to their old ways and that is actually so damaging to their bodies. A lot of them end up gaining so much weight, they don't want to go back to the gym. So it's almost like, why did you spend that much time, you know, working out, trying to get better and just throw it away like that. So I want to prove that it can be a lifestyle and you can actually step on stage. You don't have to kill yourself to, you know, with all that extreme cardio um, just to get on stage. It should be a lifestyle. Also, I'm available one-to-one -one at Raw Gym. Um, you can reach me on my website, newlivingfitness.com, or you can reach me on my Instagram at ju9ith.